To many in the maritime industry, ABB and Finland equals Azipod propulsion, but Helsinki is also part of another exciting trend. ABB's integrated operations centers allow ship owners to monitor entire fleets from shore, capitalizing on increased connectivity and data from smart sensors. The Helsinki one's a little bit special in that we have product specific uh, monitoring requirements. So we will also do the monitoring and the operation, uh, integrated operations for the passenger segment. But on top of that, we also have global responsibility for the Azipod propulsion units. So any of the propulsion units that are connected to our system, we will monitor those for the customers. We collect uh, data for the Azipod bearings from the vibration measurements, oil analysis, uh, proscopy inspection and particle counts. And with this information, we generate the, this kind of traffic light uh, information to our customers, showing that it's the bearing in good condition as well as the, the bearing environment. Uh, biggest benefit for our customer, I would say that we are online 24-7. So in case the vessel is on, a, on the other side of the world, we can still get the data transferred to us. When the engineer comes in the morning to the integrated operations center, he al already has the data available to be analyzed. So this really takes down the, the response time to our customer. The customers usually have their own integrated operations centers already. But the, the Helsinki center basically ties everything together. So we can have connections to customers integrated operations center and we can work with them via shared screens. That means that we can basically maximize the, the competent people looking at the issue, looking at the data. Cruise operators, like all ship owners, are looking to run their vessels as efficiently as possible. The integrated operations center gives fleet-wide access to information which was previously unavailable. Well, the integrated operations center, since it collects data from multiple systems, from multiple vessels, the implications for the energy efficiency are, are pretty significant considering that you can now optimize the whole vessel. You can, you can use data from every system on board to do the optimization instead of just optimizing some small segment. Palemia Field spent many years working on ships and he can see how the increasing use of big data can help create vessels that are more autonomous. We do already run most of our ships on autopilot, on track pilots, where the navigator will input a, a voyage plan and it's the, the responsibility of the ship's crew to maintain that course and make, protect the ship, keep it safe. The vast majority of ships out there operate with unmanned machinery spaces already, not so much in the passenger segment. Definitely in the cargo segment that they have very light technical crews and they have a duty engineer for a 24 hour period. So conceivably it doesn't take much to move into an autonomous shipping. I mean, the technology is effectively already here. Well, if you think about the autonomous shipping, it requires immense amounts of data. And that's what this sensor brings to the table. So when we have the data, then we are in a much better position to evaluate the autonomous shipping and, and to evaluate the effects and to track the ships and, and, and so forth.